There is something going on quietly in the back rooms in Washington, D.C. that is not being spoken of in the mainstream media, but if Donald Trump should win the upcoming election, I think we might see it rolled out and people will be reminded of what was being talked about. Way back in 2021, the idea of the leftist propaganda now, their election strategy, is this. Come on, America. You know we can't elect Donald Trump again. I mean, don't make us have to pull the levers of government and disqualify him after he's been elected and cause all this problem. We don't want to have to do it. We don't want to have to do it. But we will. But we want you to make the right decision. That's what's going on. I found this cartoon on the left that I thought was really very appropriate. One of the three little pigs has created a bunker underneath, of course, the house of bricks. And the other two pigs are like, this is, isn't just about the wolf anymore, is it? And I think it's a great illustration of how far we have come, the prepper community, since way back in 2007 and 8, when it was the mine apocalypse or a meteor or a pole flip or you know some other thing that was going to happen that you would need to be prepped for. I don't think anybody could prep enough for what we're going through right now. But something else has cropped up with the media and the leftist propaganda that shows how emotional these people are and how they don't even recognize when they're accusing Donald Trump of two different things that are directly in contradiction to each other. Now, I'm sure everybody is very aware of the comparison being made between uh, Mr. Trump, his comments, and the leader of Germany in the 40s. But they're also accusing him of something else that would be the exact opposite of that. But they don't realize they're contradicting each other. Why? Well, they live in an emotional world. And that's why, of course, we have the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, where we go over the tactics and techniques of psychological operations to get people to kick out of their emotional brains and get into their actual thinking brains again so that they can see things like this. Now, we have four different levels over there. One, the Maquis Foot Soldiers. For those of you who are wondering what the Maquis are, M-A-Q-U-I-S, it's a take on the freedom fighters in Spain and France that rose up um, to fight guerrilla warfare against the occupying forces of the Germans. There's a $1 level, Maquis Foot Soldiers, $5, need to know, $10, of course, the unit commanders, and then the $15 level, the brigade commanders. We've got brand new content over there, about a week old or so, but we're going to be putting brand new content up over there this coming week as well. God bless all of you. Thank you, everyone who signed up, making a huge difference. Now, what are the two things? What are the two things that they are accusing Mr. Trump of that are in direct contradiction to one another? Well, Firebrand leftist Jamie Raskin said Congress must disqualify Trump because he's an insurrectionist, allegedly. There's some obscure writing in the Constitution that, that allows for this if it's interpreted a certain way. And I want to give a quick shout out, of course, to Lisa Haven over at Restricted Republic because she was the one that actually shared this clip of what he wanted to say about this. Now, I'm not going to take away from her content here. It's at about 6.58 in her video titled TikTok, Is This the Democrat Doomsday Plan if Trump Wins the Election? And they talk about invoking the Constitution to say it doesn't matter that he won the vote or won the Electoral College or anything like that. You know, he's disqualified as an insurrectionist. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. An insurrectionist. Who do you think Adolf, who do you think German, the Germans were fighting in World War II? See, they've been calling him oath-breaking insurrectionist, oath-breaking insurrectionist. Tactics of the enemy, infiltration, distraction, confusion, deception, divide and conquer, and attrition. They're doing it to their own people. You don't want to do this to your own people. You want to do it to the enemy. Who remembers when back in the movie uh, Top Gun, when the Tom Cruise character had lost uh, his uh, wingman, not his wingman, but his co-pilot, um, 
And he was feeling sorry for himself. And she had to say, hey, look, hey, look, we need you. You're needed. You need to snap out of your emotions right now and get back in the fight. Yeah, this is going to happen now and it's going to happen in the future. You need to stop reacting to everything emotionally. But this is what would have to happen for them to invoke that part of the Constitution. Now, some are asking, well, wait a minute, Florida Mucky, how is it contradictory? Well, this is a quote from a book called The Undefeated, written by a woman named Martha Gellhorn, talking about the French resistance movement in conjunction with the Spanish resistance movement. That's what the basis of the whole name of the channel is. During the, this channel, during the German occupation of France, during World War II, the Spanish Maquis engineered more than 400 railway sabotages, many when civilians were aboard, destroyed 58 locomotives with civilian engineers, dynamited 35 railway bridges, once again, many of those bridges had uh, people on them at the time, cut 150 telephone lines, attacked 20 factories, once again, killing many civilians, destroying some factories totally, and sabotaged 15 coal mines, many with workers inside. They took several thousand German prisoners, some of them were civilians, and most miraculously, considering their arms, they captured three tanks in the southwest part of France where no Allied army ever fought. They liberated more than 17 towns. Now, they were terrorists of their day. Rise of the Maquis, M-A-Q-U-I-S. The night belongs to the Maquis and SAS with the Maquis. Great reading. Three different books, Charles G. Fornell, Carolyn K. Brancato, and Ian Wellstead talking about something that doesn't usually make it onto the History Channel documentaries of what happened during World War II. You see, you can be one, you can be a dictator, like the leader of Germany was, or you can be an insurrectionist, the people who fight against dictators. But you can't be both. You can't, you cannot be both. Here's a great uh, article to read, europeanmemories.net. The Spanish Civil War in the movies, 80 Years of Stories. You see, there's some pictures here that reveal something that's not so savory about how the French resistance was able to infiltrate and compromise the Germans. And we've talked about it in other videos and in other contexts, but it had to do a lot with what soldiers do when they're not being soldiers and how they can, there was a huge propaganda campaign in North America, all sorts of billboards, trying to warn American soldiers against going over to Europe, and like they say, loose lips sink ships. You can take that however you want it. But this is something they might try. And the prepper community is probably going to have to adjust how they prep for something like this where Donald Trump would win the election but or it was the close election and everybody thought he's going to be inaugurated and everything's going to be fine and then they go to the meeting of the electors and the sitting vice president of course who is running decides to not accept the results and Congress decides to disqualify him based on just calling him an insurrectionist and installing her. Now, here's, here's the weird part. You ready for this? Here's the part that even Lisa Haven missed. And I'm not trying to knock Lisa Haven, but it was something that I didn't think about till hours later. We vote for the president and the vice president on, the, on a separate ballot. Meaning that if they disqualified Donald Trump based on being a quote-unquote insurrectionist or like Hitler or threat to a democracy or whatever the hell, that wouldn't disqualify J.D. Vance. So what if we had a Harris-Vance 
presidency. Meaning she could win the ballot having disqualified Donald Trump based on January 6th, which J.D. Vance had nothing to do with. And ironically so, J.D. Vance actually called Donald Trump Hitler at one time, a long time ago. But that would not affect the balloting for J.D. Vance. Getting rid of Donald Trump, they could elect J.D. Vance vice president and Kamala Harris president because it's a separate ballot. The Electoral College has a separate balloting process for president and vice president. It's not a lump sum deal. And this goes to show that we don't have a national election. We have 50 state elections, and then each state uses the result of that election to pick a slate of electors. And then the slate of electors then goes to the Electoral College meeting, and then they cast separate ballots for president and vice president. Now, a lot of people are kind of conflicted, especially on the right, about the Electoral College. Some have said, well, it protects, you know, the small states from the big states and the cities running everything. But in this particular case, if it prevented Donald Trump from becoming president, you might see a whole lot of people on the right change their tune. Some might say it's undemocratic. Some might say it's unfair. But it wouldn't be unconstitutional. And then, of course, then you would see people on the right saying, we need to revamp the Constitution. So I will let you go over to uh, Lisa Haven, uh, Restricted Public, Justice Night, great info. They have their own website. They have a, a foodie site. They have all sorts of great stuff. And you can watch this video. Um, I'll give you the link to it. TikTok, is this the Democrats' doomsday plan if Trump wins the election? And you can listen to Raskin in his own words, literally say, literally say in August, August 5, 2024, what their plan is. So I will leave that there, but join us, Florida Maquis Patreon channel, to see this kind of stuff. You've got to be able to get out of your emotional brain and get into your thinking brain and listen critically. It's a very difficult thing to do these days, but it's something that when you're trained to do it in the military, you see the world through an entirely different lens. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.